Hey there Libra, welcome to weekly tarot reading. This one is for August the 20th to the 27th. Uh, it's like the 21st, actually 21st I think to the 27th. Can't believe we're there already. Um, so let's jump in. Now before I jump into the reading, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button for me, you might want to think about leaving a comment, um, sharing the video and please do hit subscribe. It is all engagement based here. So if we don't get that, then basically it's unsustainable to keep the free content coming because it does take a lot of time. So many of us are doing this as our, our work. So that would be most appreciated. Um, other things, if you want a personal reading, first link down below will jump you over to my website where you can check those out. I have a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide linked below um, that you can grab if you want to take things further with your uh, learning tarot journey. I have an immersive uh, four week course called The Initiation where you can learn a full foundation. Um, in tarot plus my signature process you'll also find that linked down below and follow along on Instagram I am giving daily readings over there and making content about different aspects of um, spirituality and self-development look for the blue ticked account that's my only one all the rest are fakes okay let's jump in Libra what have I got for you oracle card to start off and I have got be bold and make the first move okay well look you know, it's time for you to, to put some action into this, to put some energy towards this. Maybe this is making the first move in, in love and romance. Maybe this is taking the first step on a plan or towards a goal or, you know, towards a vision. It's funny because often, you know, it's not until we, you know, take the first step that the universe will open other doors for us. In fact, I was just commenting somebody on my Instagram this morning and he said, you know, he had this job that... Um, basically he was wearing the golden handcuffs right like a well-paid job um, that really gave the stability and security but toxic right and he said he just quit and very soon after that landed his dream job okay so what I'm saying is that the universe wants to know we've got skin in the game are we ready what are we willing to do to change our lives are we willing to take the exit tax to freedom okay so that's one scenario I don't know which way this reading's going to go yet but be bold and make the first move and then often that's when doors open for us Okay, Libra, I've got just the major arcana cards here. They are the, the big themes, the big life lessons in tarot. Let's see which one you're moving through as it pertains to being bold and making the first move. Well, hanged man. Yeah, well, look, you know, if you have been feeling a bit stuck or like your hands are tied, then we need to make a bold move to get out of this energy, right? So maybe, you know, you're kind of waiting for the perfect time, right, to make this happen. Well, I'll tell you what, Libra, it usually doesn't come. We have to kind of create that perfect time. Um, Hanged Man Energy is the card that comes before the death card in the Major Arcana sequence. So often we need to take the journey towards acceptance that we have to close a door or release in order to find the new, right? In order to find the new path. So maybe there's an ending that you're needing to go through, or maybe, you know, you, you're just really needing to say yes to, to the new beginning. Let's find out where this goes, Libra. So I'm gonna get the cards out here and um, we'll get them out and we'll clarify as we go. Situational energy is the queen of pentacles. Can be a Capricorn energy coming through. All right, challenge energy. We've got the 10 of pentacles. Yeah, because you've got definitely got a level of stability and security, maybe financial security in this situation. That's the that's the golden handcuffs, you know, like the what keeps us trapped is actually, you know, having that big payoff. But your advice is the chariot, cancer energy coming through forward movement. And it's going to take a big decision, that's for sure. All right. What have we got? Oof, outcome. You don't want to miss that temperance at the end of the deck there. It's funny because we talked about timing and I feel that maybe you've been waiting for the right time or it's not quite right. 
Temperance actually says is there's a divine sweet spot right now energetically for you and you know you, you've been given a little bit of a divine push here. Okay so we've got forward movement here that will be celebrated, will bring you the results that you're really wanting. Let's clarify as we go. Oh Ten of Pentacles again. So Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles in the situational energy. Now it's a few different themes here. You may be wanting to move on from a job that pays really well, but you don't love. Like the scenario that's popped into my head when I was beginning this reading. For some of you, it might be a home, right? Um, maybe it's costing you too much. Maybe it's not meeting your, your needs in some way. Hey, maybe you've just had to move for whatever reason. Queen of Pentacles here is an energy of, you know, focus and, and planning so it's basically saying it's time for you to put the plan in place for the forward movement to bring that greater sense of balance now um queen of pentacles because i think that you're really wanting to 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 build that ten of pentacles that you know that growth that stability that that financial base that beautiful home but without you know the energy where we're feeling like this is toxic for us or not working because at the moment you're in hanged man energy now for some of you maybe it's just you haven't been able to create that because the finances haven't been there well it feels like that is falling into into place as well so be bold and make the first move and i feel that yeah it's a moving away to move towards greater happiness and might, you might be worried about losing that stability security or money but spirit's actually saying you know, you'll, you'll, you'll replace that and you'll also be in Three of Cups, the energy of joy, which, you know, feels like a no-brainer. Yeah, we've got the tower coming through with the Ten of Pentacles in the uh, challenge position. So it's funny because before people make the big moves, right, to leave behind a situation, we're normally waiting for a crisis, a betrayal, um, a diagnosis, a uh, you know, some kind of condition or situation that forces a rock bottom or, or, or forces us to move on, right? Um, and if we don't get that, we often stay. That's just the, that's just human nature. Now, the universe has probably been sending you your signs, right? Has been kind of not, like knocking on your door softly. And the thing is that if we don't follow those signs, it will start knocking louder. And then sometimes it can actually end up resulting in one of those uh, quite, um, you know, full-on circumstances that I did mention, right? And they're called tower moments, right? Where it's kind of imploding and we're not prepared for it, Queen of Pentacles, when we've sort of known for ages and then we're kind of thinking, oh, I should have addressed this a long time ago. I wouldn't be dealing with a tower. So what Spirit is saying here, Libra, is that in the foundation of the situation, there's not actually the stability, it's a false sense of stability, right? The golden handcuffs with the job that pays really well, but because we don't like it and we know it's essentially at some point we'll need to leave if we haven't made a plan and, uh, you know, about how we're going to transition out of that and what we're going to go to, then we can find ourselves in a tower moment. If all of a sudden we get let go, all of a sudden, um, you know, we get sick because of the stress, you know, and then we don't have the pathway. So this is a message in addressing the situation before it comes to a tower moment and you can mitigate that. But the tens in, in tarot are completions, right? Completions of something that feels like it is paying. Well, there's a big payoff, but there's also a cost, right? There's also a cost. The advice is the chariot. Cancer energy, and it is an energy of moving on and moving forward, but it does take a very, very firm, solid, unshakable decision. And I'll tell you why it's coming through with Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Because if we don't make that firm decision, then usually our chariot will go straight back home, all right? We've got the two sphinxes here, the black and the white, and they stand for the the duality in the mind you know the two options stay or go what should i do now if we don't make that clear decision and then just own it and move forward in alignment with that then yeah we'll be going this way then that way taking the windy road and we'll never reach the destination of happiness joy and the results that we want so you're being asked to be the charioteer which is through strength courage and determination queen of wands 
only be for forward always, onwards always, right? It's a stone chariot and we only move it through um, intention backed with aligned action and we need to leave behind that that comfort or that false sense of security in order to claim the true victory that's what the charioteer does now the queen of wands yes she's an energy of determination to manifest the ace of wands a passionate inspired happy new beginning full of growth and that's aries energy and that's all about being bold and making the first move because aries is the first zodiac sign it goes first so it's saying you go first through determination and an aligned strong decision that you own and then the universe will kind of roll out the red carpet for you look at this three of cups with temperance sagittarian energy with the temperance card as i mentioned it's things coming into balance and the universe is saying, well, even though you don't think it might is the right time, Libra, we do, <laughs> and we're guiding you. We're knocking on your door, right? And if you don't listen, then maybe, just maybe, we'll bring you in a tower moment. Double threes, three of wands, three of cups, temperance. You won't look back. I don't think you will. But you're in an, at an important threshold of being all in and spirit says that the results that you're truly wanting which is probably the ten of pentacles but with the happiness and joy as well it will be yours but you have to take the forward movement to get there we have a new path being prepared for you with the temperance energy you're being supported and guided towards that we have a bit of a divine hand at work in your life here you will celebrate you will celebrate but yeah we have to go through the hard bit first which as i mentioned is you know is stepping out of the comfort zone but we get huge growth um yes there's fears here of loss but i'm being told that you're going to regain that and you're going to regain that with the happiness and the emotional balance as well so it feels yeah it feels pretty pretty awesome from that perspective i've got double threes here angel number double tens as i mentioned tens are completions and threes are creation and rebirth the number of the empress she's wanting to take you by the hand and lead you down this beautiful new path libra that's what i have for you uh, if you'd like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances first link down below don't forget to uh, follow along on instagram for daily content and please do take a moment to uh, like share comment and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already that'll keep your readings coming it's been a pleasure to bring through your weekly reading for you libra i look forward to seeing you next week for now sending you much love magic and healing as always bye for now